Hello Facebook friends and YouTubers and, and my social media uh, family as such and um, people that follow my work have been interested in the books and art over the years uh, at the end of 2022 almost isn't it it's um, where did 2022 go Van Gogh no it didn't go with Van Gogh um, where did it go where did 2022 go well I mean, I'm not going to talk about my own personal year, but I just say generally that the year has been exactly as I thought it would be um, based on a, an article blog I wrote and put out not that much time away from this time last year, I think it was. It was um, around November and it was, and, and it was about the kickstarting of something in February 2022, which, which happened, didn't it? I mean, lots of things happened on reflection. There was the, you know, the the so-called invasion of of Ukraine, and and I say so-called because I don't think we know the whole truth about that really, um, in its entirety, like many things, as you know, many things on the media. I wouldn't I wouldn't trust them, um, but also symbolically 2022 um, was a year of both it was a duality year you know a, a resetting year there was chance to do something and there's also with that comes great loss loss of opportunity loss of um, of something that could be good that became something that didn't work out and you know personal experiences for me, in many ways, uh, have shown me that symbolism came true. And, you know, we, we could talk about that in another video. But, um, yeah, so the, the, the year was also a long year in terms of, for me, in terms of writing. And you, you might be happy to know that uh, my recent book, Journeys in the Dreamtime, I better not cover one eye because I'll have all the people uh, out there accusing me of being a Freemason again. Um, yeah, uh, it's taken me a year to re to rework it. It's a it's a big book in five parts, covering a whole range of different subjects, not least the occult history of art and symbolism. And just to tell you a little bit about it and what I was doing and why 2022, relating to what we're saying at the beginning of the video, why 2022 was a year that relates to triggers and things occurring and opportunities and manifesting and like I say I feel like I missed out on a few opportunities but um, from a personal book point of view but the book was you know I'm so happy that the book is is now back in circulation because it's been out of print um, for well over 15 years and it's massively updated it's hugely updated and and brought into context with what's happening in the world today. So um, it's in five parts. The book is uh, about, like I say, it's about the astral realities, how the nature of reality and the occult history of art and the imagination in many ways, because that's what links us to uh, unseen forces. So the first part is about what we don't see. So part one is about, it's about, uh, um, you know, five or six chapters on what we don't see which relates to shadow worlds and encroaching on the astral world as well. And then in part two, I look at the occult history of art, starting with the symbolism and the brotherhoods and the movements that emerged earlier in the um, book. I lay out a few contexts for that, but in that part, I talk about the Egyptian brotherhoods and um, also about the, the link between the shamans and eventually the patrons in the history of art. Uh, taking over and I look really closely in one chapter at what I call a brotherhood of artists and I look at the secret societies and the influence of that into the so-called history of art and then later on in that part I look at hidden symbolism and the hidden signs and media magic in two parts part one and part two inside that part of the book and the, I, I kind of set the scene for a lot of things that are happening in the world today and then look at um, I look at what's happened since 2020 in more detail and how that projects into the future through symbolism and energy and all the rest of it. Part three is about 
the origins of symbols, duality, DNA, extraterrestrials, a whole range of different things that fits into that. And uh, part four is about how those subjects have, uh, have aided artists throughout the, you know, throughout the um, centuries and going back into the ancient world and how the fascination for otherworldly forces, extraterrestrials again, star systems, all those things all come into that. And also there's a chapter on the Matrix itself, the Matrix movies. A lot of the book goes into the movies. So I used to have a blog, you see, there was a blog online for many years called um, Through Ancient Eyes, which was a Google blog, which I stopped working on. And a lot of the stuff I took from that, I put back into the book. Um, and that's why the index is quite, quite heavy. And then the final part, there's only a couple of chapters in the final part, which is also about the divine image, the human form divine. And how that, as a subject, again, our spirituality has influenced artists. There's a, there's a lot of focus on William Blake, for example, in the book, and other artists as well, many, many, many artists. And, um, and the final part, the appendix uh, is, um, sorry, the index and the appendix is, is very much about a subject that I've only just recently looked at, which relates to something called the lethargic sleep. So there's all those things in the book, and um, it's a very short video this, won't be very long, but it's now available on Amazon, even though for some reason the cover's not showing on there, but we'll work out why after Christmas. But it's there, and it's now out, and, um, and I'm happy to uh, say that, you know, it's been a bit of an achievement. This has been the end result of 2022 for me, and nothing else really besides. Uh, and sometimes that's the way it goes doesn't it? That's the way, that's the way things happen. Uh, but maybe in another video, I'll share some deeper philosophical views and feelings that I have about what happened um, this year and what's, what's happened to us all collectively this year as well. Anyway, thanks for listening and um, I hope you enjoy the book. Okay. Merry Christmas. Yeah.